One of my favorite things that I added in RPG Builder 2.0 is persistence. We can now very, very easily save things such as transform, rigid bodies, animator, uh, colliders, interactable objects, containers, and even NPCs for your character. So in this video, I'm only going to be covering transform, but I'm going to make other videos about other types of persistent objects. So all you have to do to have a transform being persistent and by persistent I mean saved for your character so that when you leave the game when you come back it is going to be in the same state as you left it is to add any game object you want of course in this video I'm going to keep it simple and use a cube here so we have a nice cube and we want this cube to be persistent in our scene. This could be anything. This could be a moving object. This could be a flying dragon. This could be anything you use in your game, maybe to add some scenery or maybe to add even some logic. So uh, what I'm going to do here is simply add the transform saver component here. And it's going to add the saver identifier and the transform saver. Here you see that you even have some options. Do you want to save only the position, only the rotation, only the scale, or all of them? That's up to you. And lastly, we have to uh, generate a unique identifier for this object. So we can just click on this button. Now, you don't want to do this hundreds of times if you want to have hundreds of persistent objects, right? Because as you can see, if I duplicate it, it no longer has its own identifier, obviously, because this has to be very unique. So what if we uh, duplicate maybe this a lot of time? Well, I made a quick tool for you to do this automatically. So if you go under settings, persistence, and here load persistent object, this is going to load all the persistent objects from your current scene. As you can see, it says this scene has 36 persistent objects. And if we now click this button, all of those had a, their own identifier assigned. So that's cool. I'm going to delete those because we're not going to need them. But at least you know that this is possible to do. And now we have this cube here and I'm going to simply um, go in game now. That's literally all we have to do, nothing else. It's ready to be persistent. So here we go closer with our character and I'm going to, for example, um, change a few things here. Change the scale and maybe um, the rotation as well as let's say the position let's put it in the ground like this so remember how it looks right now right and let's now go outside of play mode so now everything is gone right as you can see our cube is still here just like it was before of course this is not saved outside of play mode but when we go back in game with our character up here it is it is exactly as we left it so that's literally all you had to do to have a persistent transform in your game with rpg builder 2.0 I'm going to be recording more videos on the other things you can save and I'm going to tell you, see you in the next video.